Out of the 18 accused in the Grand Massam 2016 terrorist attack case, only four appeared in court on Wednesday. 30 witnesses made the trip for the opening of the trial, relieved six years after the tragedy to stand at the doors of justice. This mother regrets her son never got psychological support after the attack. For a year, he lost so much because he was traumatized. When he heard a noise in the street, he would jump like he was going crazy. The attack came as a shock for Ivorians, but also for the country's economy. This waitress works at L'Etoile du Sud, one of the worst hit spots during the attack. She says business never picked up as usual after that day. Just yesterday, a client asked us, is this where the attack took place? You see that people are still afraid to come, and those who come still fear to stay. In Grand Bassam, the tourist industry is crippled, but residents feel they have a duty to remember. At least once a year, they organize a memorial march this year on the International Day for Peace. We never forget. We always remember the 13th of March. This attack pushed Grand Bassam into a state of grief. It hurts, but we forgive. 19 civilians and three military died in the shooting. At the time, the terrorist group Al-Qaeda and the Islamist Maghreb took responsibility for the crime. Authorities believe justice is a prerequisite for healing. We believe in justice. We are confident this crime will not go unpunished. Survivors are awaiting a verdict, expected at the end of the trial, which should last three weeks.